I would say the, the goals of care codes are initially being used by the palliative care community, certainly. Uh, by focused medical groups like some of our oncology groups have really had a, an initiative on that. So a small focused medical group, especially group we've, uh, who've taken time to train their own providers. The intent of this encounter code though is that it's available for all providers um, and in all specialties or non-specialties. So the hope is that this will be something broadly used by primary care doctors and nurse practitioners and physician assistants and social workers and chaplains more the, the latter are mostly involved in palliative care or hospice teams, that's fine. Um, but it is intended to be available broadly. Um, nephrologists, pulmonologists, cardiologists, all could be using this. Relatively few of them are yet, but we're hoping to continue to educate them that it's available. And the, the other challenge with go goals of care, pay paying for a goals of care encounter is well and good and helps to drive change. We want them to be high quality encounters too. So that's a task for, for us in the hospice palliative community, I think, is to how do we help to educate our peers and our brethren out there to do a good job of goals of care conversations uh, and advanced care planning. So it, it is a, a primarily a communication skill, I guess. There are certain components that are important to include, but it's mostly about how to be present, how to, how to lead patients into these conversations, it turns out more providers are uncomfortable with these conversations than patients are. So patients often are very willing to talk about this more so than their, their physician or, or their caregiver. Um, so helping to educate the provider community how to comfortably do these conversations without offending people, but getting the information you need and bringing up the important aspects, that's an ongoing challenge for, our, for the medical community. How do we train each other into to doing these things well because simply checking off a box that says, oh, I did a goals of care discussion, if it wasn't done well, isn't really getting us where we want to be, which is to have meaningful conversations and to document them and then to follow through with what's documented um, down the road and, and, and to withhold or to, to uphold patients' wishes.